Poundland is doing LED tape at the moment, or deals as we call it, on Ireland and uh, the Isle of Man. It's, it's the same shop as Poundland, but it's £1.20 for most things. However, this stuff, I was expecting this to ring up at £1.20 as well. It actually rang up at £2, which is odd, because they usually have a big set of two marks in the back. But not in this case. So I'm not sure what it will uh, ring up in standard pound shops. What you get, well they claim what you get is 1.3 metres of the strip. In reality, you get one metre of strip on a little plastic reel. And you get a cable which adds up to the other 300 millimetres, but it is basically just one metre of strip. And it's the type that's got 30 LEDs along it. Let me plug this in and show you lit and the current. So I shall plug it into this convenient power supply, activate aforementioned power supply, and the little Rudeng meter is showing, I have to say it's very bright by the way, it's showing approximately 900 milliamps for that run. So the LEDs are being driven at about 30 milliamps each. And the resistor, each one, you can cut each section with one LED. And it has a resistor of 470, that's 470 as a multiplier, so it's 47 ohms. So these are being driven quite hard and it does get quite warm when you leave it on for a while. Effectively, it's the best part of an amp at five volts. So we're talking about five watts along the strip. Things worth mentioning, it is standard strip that's measured in sort of like multiples of half a meter because you can see the solder joints here where they've soldered. Let me just unplug it and you'll see this better. Um, if I zoom down just a little tad, you can see where they've soldered the sections together. They usually make this stuff uh, in large wide sheets of half a meter and then cut the strips after they've populated the LEDs and resistors. It's just the easiest way of making it. And then they piece them end to end. Although I have come across other strips that they seem to be manufactured in a virtually continuous run uh, on the strip. I'm not sure how they do that. Um, so there's multiple options. It, it does have adhesive back in the back with this sort of peel off stuff. Um, it's got the fairly big-ish bus bars, although they're not super big, but it doesn't really matter. It's not really terribly high current. It's the usual sort of arrangement of this stuff. Um, if you want to tame it down, if you want it to last longer, you could do a couple of different things. You could put a diode in series with the feed to it, and that would drop the voltage by probably about 0.6 to 1 volt, and that would have a dramatic if drop in the intensity. Or you could add resistors if you so wanted. Or you could just leave it as it is and just run it at full brightness and just, you know, accept that it's not going to last quite as long as if it was underrun. But there we go, it's interesting. It's useful that you can get little one metre sections from your local poundland. And uh, that's it, 30 milliamps per LED, roughly just under an amp for the one metre and, uh, and runs quite warm. Not much else to say about it.